Hi. So today I'm going to show you how to write text vertically in Word. There's several different ways that you can do this and it depends on whether you want to write your text vertically like this or vertically like this. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, we just start with a blank document. So the first way and probably the easiest way that you would go for is just to simply type, press the return key so that your letters will continue down the page like this. And then if we just highlight it, make it a little bit bigger, you can see that whilst your text has been aligned vertically, you can see that because Word is trying to begin a sentence, all of the letters line up aligned to the left. So if I was to highlight it and center it by going up to this icon here, all it's going to do is simply center my text to the center of my page. So now, although the letters are lined up in the center, they're lined up in the center of the document. So whilst it works, it's not very flexible. So the second way would be possibly the most versatile and easiest way, and that's to insert, go to text box, draw text box, then you simply draw a text box and you type your word. And then if you go to the home tab and then you use this icon here, which is increase font size, just keep clicking until you're happy with the size of your font. Then all you need to do is to simply move the box and nudge it in until all of the letters are lined up one on top of the other. And again, it's done the same thing where it's lined up everything to the left, all the letters are to the left. So because we've now got the letters in a text box, if we now go up to the center icon here, it now centers the letters to the width of your text box. And you can reduce the size of your text box until you can just slightly see the letters shifting, particularly the I in the middle is no longer lining up with the T above it. So if you stretch it out until you see that movement. So you've now been left with a text box with a board around it. If you don't want the border, just select the text box, go up to shape format here, and then there's this icon here that says shape outline. Click the down arrow and click no outline. And click off, and now you've been left with your vertical text that you can now move around your page. Now, if you find that initially you can't move this box anywhere and it keeps clicking back to its original location or it's just a little bit clunky, what you do need to do is again select the box so that you've got these boxes on the edges and corners of your text box and then make sure you're on the shape format tab and go along to this icon here that says wrap text and here you can choose tight, behind text or in front of text. Any of those will allow you to move your text box anywhere around your page. Now if you do have text on your page already then one of these will be most appropriate and it's usually tight and what that will do is wrap the text around your box and of course you've got other options here so if you don't want it to go around the box you can simply get the text to go at the top of the box or the bottom of the box. So that's the most versatile way to do it and of course once you've got your text in the box it means that you can go along and change the colours of your text. You can go along and change the shadows. You can even change the text outline. So
So if I just zoom in, you can see that I've managed to now change the outline of the text is now yellow and inside is red. So you've got lots of versatility with this particular method. I'm just going to show you another couple of methods just in case you need to use them. Now the next method I'm going to show you gives you different types of tools and flexibility with typing vertically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a table this time and if I go to insert, click on table, then I'm just going to select eight rows because that's how many letters are in my word. And then I'm just going to go to the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to just move my cursor over this box and I'm going to simply drag my table over to the left hand side. Then I'm going to highlight by clicking and dragging. I'm going to go to the home tab. I'm going to click on this center icon here, which means that all of my letters will now be centered in each of the squares. Okay, and again, you can change the size of your font by simply highlighting the font and then using these up and down keys here. So this is to increase the size and this is to reduce the size of your font. And again, you can enter the different sizes here as well. Okay, so currently you've got a border around all of your letters. Now, you may not want that. If not, you can highlight your table. You can click and drag like so or you can go up to this corner cross icon up here and then go to table design. When you go to table design, go along to borders, click the drop down and select no border. And again, if you click off, then your borders have disappeared. In addition to this, it gives you a little bit more flexibility with color. So because this is a table, each of these letters are in a cell. And what you can do is you can color these cells. So if I highlight the table, and I make sure I'm on the table design tab up here and I go to this shading icon here. I can simply click on a color of my choice and you can now see that those cells are now colored. You don't have to color them all at the same time. You can click on one individual one, click on the drop down and change the color. In addition to that, you can also change the font color by highlighting the letter that you want or all of the letters, clicking on the home tab, and going down to this icon here, which is the color icon for your font. In addition, you can also move your table by again going down to the lower right hand icon and simply dragging out to um, change the size of the table, which will in turn change the size of your vertical font. If you want to put the borders back, simply highlight, go up to table, click borders, maybe just want a border around the outside of the, the entire word rather than the individual letters. Just click on outside borders and then you'll get the border that runs around the outside if I just increase the size of my page. If you want to change your border and the colors, then you again highlight your table and you can go up here and you can change the border style here. So let's choose something quite garish so that we can see what's happening. Now at the moment, although I've clicked on this, it hasn't actually appeared. But what has happened is you can see we've got this paintbrush icon. And what that allows you to do is to just click on each side of your cells. And it's just telling Word where you want that border to go. And then if you want to change the color, you can just click on a different color. And again, you can change the sizes and the colors depending on what you want. The other way I'm going to show you how to write vertical text is to simply turn the text round. So we go up to insert, draw text box. And we simply click and drag write the word vertical oh okay so we can either click on this circular tab here and try and it does click into play so you can simply just turn it around like this 
or turn it around like that. Alternatively, you can go to shape format, make sure that your shape's selected. If it's not, just click on it, go up to shape format and go to align text, go to text direction, click on the drop down, and then you can simply rotate left or right. Now, if this happens, don't worry, just pull the text box out. You just need to give it enough room to allow it to move the text. And then you can move it left or right. And once again, if you don't want the border, click on the box, go up to shape format, go down to shape outline and click no outline. And again, once you've done all this, of course, you can go in and you can change all the different fonts by using either the word art here. So if I click on this one, you can see, I'll just pull that out. Or you can go to the home tab and you can click on this icon here, which will t change the font color. And again, there's also this fill color here that if you wanted to click on this one, then it's going to uh, change the background of your text box. Now you can adjust all this in this shape icon box here. So if you double click on your text box, this menu on the right hand side will appear and you'll have a number of different options. Fill refers to the inside and line refers to the border that goes around the text box. So in the fill here, we've currently got solid fill, um, but you can choose a number of different options, gradient fills. Um, so if we go to solid fill and you click the color icon and go down to the yellow, then it will fill your entire box with yellow. So I hope that's helped. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments and have a great day.